friends, it's me, Pastor Doug, with another word of encouragement for the day for today, Friday, April 23rd. And today's word comes out of the Gospel of Luke, chapter 15, verses 25 through 30. And in it, we continue our exploration of the theme of anger. What is anger? Where does it come from? What do we do about it? And today's passage comes in the middle of one of Jesus's most well-known parables, the parable of the lost son. Chances are you probably are familiar, maybe quite familiar with this parable. This is the story where there's, uh, that Jesus tells where there's one man and he has two sons and the youngest son asks for his share of the inheritance early, which is sort of like saying to the dad, I wish you were dead and I just want your stuff. And so he takes his share of the inheritance and leaves. Uh, he goes away to a distant country and blows it all. And at one point he realizes, oh my gosh, what have I done? I should go back to my home. I should go back to my father. Maybe he'll accept me as one of his servants. So scripture says he came to his senses and he made this decision to return back to his father. Now, you know this part. On his way back, the father sees him you know, way off in the distance and goes running out to meet him and hugs him, puts a ring on his finger, puts sandals on his feet, puts a robe around him and accepts him back into the house. Now, for many of us, that's where the parable ends. It's a wonderful story that illustrates God's love towards us, even when we are wayward sinners. But there's way more to the story than that. Remember that there's an older brother. And today's passage is gonna pick up on what happens with the older brother after the younger brother has come home. Let's pick it up here at verse 25. Meanwhile, the older son was in the field. When he came near the house, he heard music and dancing. So he called one of the servants in and asked him what was going on. Well, your brother has come home, he replied, and your father has killed the fattened calf and because he has him back safe and sound. Listen to this. The older brother became angry. He, he refused to go in to the party. So the father went out and pleaded with him. But he answered his father, look, all of these years I've been slaving for you. I've never disobeyed your orders, yet you never even gave me a young goat so I could celebrate with my friends. But when this son of yours who has squandered your property with prostitutes comes home, you kill the fattened calf for him. Let me stop there. What a sad, sad passage. What happens here? Well, first we see this older brother get angry, right? And, and remember what we talked about on the weekend, last weekend, we talked about the fact that anger has roots. So when we trace the roots back in this older brother's story, we can see exactly what was going on. Yes, he got angry, but why did he get angry? Why did he isolate himself from the family? Why did he walk out and refuse to go in and participate? Why was he allowing this anger to disrupt the unity and the relationship among, among the family? because he was bitter, because he was resentful, because he was holding on to unforgiveness and just stewing on it, right? He's just simmering on it. What does he say? He says, you know, Father, all of these years. So he's going back for years, right? Talking about, you know, you never did this and you never did that. And now when he comes home, you do this, right? And this anger that came out and this withdrawal and this isolation and this, I'm not gonna go into the party was actually deeply rooted in resentment and bitterness that had been going on for years. This older brother had been simmering on this stuff for years. So friends, here's what I wanna invite you to do. Think about this week. Who have you been simmering about? Who is it in your life that you've been simmering about? You know, your husband all week long, or your wife all week long, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your, your, your friend, those Democrats, those Republicans, like who, who is it that you've just been simmering about all week long? Friends, eventually that's gonna come out in some angry outburst. It's just going to. Scripture uh, shows us this, and I think this story reveals it as well. So friends, would you take the time to identify who have I been simmering about this week? What have I been simmering about this week? Where do I need to extend forgiveness so that I don't end, blowing, end up blowing up and withdrawing like the older brother in the story? Friends, that's all I got for you today. I hope you have a great weekend. Please join us on Sunday morning, either online or in person. Can't wait to worship with you. And we'll pick these videos back up next Monday. See you then.